Good morning, friends. Welcome to Westminster on this Palm Sunday, 2020. I hope you are well, uh, and I invite you to join in this uh, celebration of Christ's triumphal entry into Jerusalem. As a part of our worship today, we will be celebrating communion together and you may ask, how are we going to celebrate communion together? Uh, well, <clears throat> the uh, Presbyterian Church in the United States of America has granted churches permission to uh, allow the, uh, their congregants to uh, share communion in their homes with one another, or if they are alone, to take communion themselves. And so as a part of this worship service, I'll be uh, leading a communion liturgy. And I invite you uh, at some point uh, in this playlist of this, of this uh, worship service to uh, pause it and go to a place where you can find some bread and uh, maybe some uh, grape juice or wine and uh, prepare yourself a little table of communion. And uh, if you are alone, know that uh, the folks at Westminster and Christians around the world who are sharing uh, the Eucharist uh, today are joined with you. And at the appropriate time uh, in our worship service, I invite you to uh, take uh, the bread and the cup. Uh, if you are with others in your house, I invite you to share communion with one another, serve one another the communion, saying uh, when you offer the bread the body of christ broken for you uh, when you offer the cup uh, uh, the cup of salvation and in that way uh, not only <clears throat> proclaim those bonds that hold us with to christ in this eucharist and this outpouring of, of uh, god's grace but also uh, those bonds that hold us together as families and as a community of faith so we hope that uh, you will relax, enter into the worship, find God meeting you in the place you are at. Know that you are in my prayers and in the prayers of the deacons and elders of Westminster Presbyterian Church. The psalmist says, open wide the gates of righteousness so that the King of glory may come in. Let us worship God and beginning with our triumphal entry hymn, All Glory, Laud, and Honor. 